Hello everybody, uh, welcome to lesson number three of module two. Um, now we're talking about data transfer. So how do we get your data from wherever you have it, being in your computer or in another institution into our into your HPC home directory? Okay. Um, there are four main ways of doing data transfer. The first one is to use, use the open on demand web portal and upload files there, but there's a bit of um, restrictions in terms of size and also flexibility um, and then the other three options are these ones i'll be talking about here which are the sftp or the secure file transfer protocol um, you can do this either on campus with fsc secure wi-fi or through our vpn that we set up in the last few videos um, and by doing the vpn uh, the vpn or on campus you'll be able to transfer um, your data but there's still a, a file size limitation Right. Uh, we recommend this if your transfer is not long, so it's not going to be a multiple hour transfer. Right. Because um, if not, you would have to use the other methods outlined here. The second method is Globus. Um, you are, we actually have very detailed instructions how to log in for Globus because a little bit of a setup is required. Um, and that's the using Globus tab you see here. Um, and then you'll be able to do long hour long transfers that can be interrupted but it will continue where it left off right so we see how this would benefit us in terms of connection now the last ones are air sync rsync and scp um rsync lets you have copies of the same file in multiple directories be it in your home computer and then in our hpc and keep um updating both of those files um, and then scp allows you to script the process of um, uploading the file so it's not manual like we will see in a minute how sftp is manual okay um, so the one i'll be going through today is the secure file transfer protocol just because it's the easiest out of all of them even though it's the least reliable for big transfer so it's the main one most of you will be using um, and then I will walk you through how to do it on Mobile Extra. If you want to use other platforms, we have screenshots and instructions here for not only Mobile Extra on Windows. We also have CyberDuck for Mac and Windows. Um, and we have Nautilus File Manager for Linux. Uh, but the principles of how to establish SFTP can be found for most CLI, for all like for most CLI um, emulators that do this. Okay. Now let's go on to how to do the SFTP transfer. Um, so if we go to mobile extern, please make sure that your SSH connection um, is active at the moment, right? So the first thing is to SSH. I'm going to SSH with my own um, username. Go ahead and do that enter. You'll see you'll be logged in. It says, welcome to the RCC. Now that you're logged in, there's nothing to do in the terminal. We are going to go to the session up here on your left-hand corner. Click on start a new session, and the session type is going to be an SFTP se session, okay? So once you click there, you need to put a host name. Now, the host name for our systems is export.rcc.fsu.edu. You can copy paste it from the docs site that I showed you at the beginning of this um, lesson. And then the username is going to be your own username. In my case, is JH22Q port 22. Okay, so you're going to go OK. If this is your first time doing it, you will be asked for a password. If not, you will go directly here like it just happened to me. Um, on this side right here, you have your um, files from your own computer, right? And then here you have the files from the HPC um, home directory. If you want to put any files from here into here, it's just um, a matter of grabbing it and dragging. I'm putting it there okay i'm not going to actually transfer that file because it's a big one but you can transfer any files here and then go ahead and close your session right here and you should default back to your terminal um i hope that made sense for the secure file transfer protocol if you need to use any of the other ones please refer to our docs and particularly for the globus documentation let me take you through that one um here so using globus right there's a few because globus works with endpoints and facilitates data transfer, right? You need to log in to Globus itself. So that is this site here, which is in our in the docs page for this lesson. Um, and in Globus, you're gonna log in, okay? Florida State University has an account for Globus, okay? Um, so you can use it to transfer stuff from one to the other. Um, and using Globus, you will sign into Florida State and you will use the steps here to link your own accounts. So once your accounts are linked, you can transfer data pretty easily. And if you've used Globus before at other institutions, the principles are the same. 
Okay. Um, I hope that helps out. Um, and I'll see you in the next module to talk about open on demand and how we can use it to do interactive job submissions a little bit easier. Thank you.